welcome back. It's me again. Um, it's Friday, which means it's time for another update. It is Friday the 6th of May. Um, did everybody party for Cinco de Mayo? I did. <laughs> um, too old for that. <laughs> um, but I have a little bit of an update for you guys this week. As well as a little bit of haul. Um, just things that I've gotten in the mail. Um, I haven't been out. Don't worry. Haven't been out doing any shopping. Um, but things that I've received in the mail. Um, so I literally only worked on a couple of projects. So the first one I worked on this morning. And only this morning. Um, because it's kind of difficult to work on stitching while I bathe awake, unless she's playing nicely in her little play area, um, which she did a little bit of that this morning, but then she, she starts whining after a little bit. So, um, this is Chester and I don't know if you can see it. I filled in a couple of areas. There's one here. There's a little bit of a, a color difference right here. And then in here, um, I just filled in those areas. Um, it's the difference between $37.99 and $8.44. That's what I worked on this morning was $8.44. And the rest of it around it is $37.99. <laughs> so not a whole big amount of difference, but maybe a little bit of a difference. Anyway, that's what I did. And it was a total of 101 stitches. So a little bit closer to my goal. Um, I don't have very much left to do. Unfortunately, um, the last time I worked on this, I had stitched up, when I got done stitching, I had marked down up to a certain point, but then I'd stitched a few more stitches after that, and I didn't mark it. So I don't, and now when I went back this morning, I don't remember where it was that I worked. So, I feel like it was about 30 stitches, but I I didn't come across 30 stitches worth um, that were stitched here that wasn't marked off on the pattern. At least not yet. I was in kind of a hurry. So, um, I, didn't, I didn't really have a chance to try to find those. <laughs> um, but I marked off 13 stitches that uh, I didn't... Uh, I didn't, um, mark off the other day. So, from what I can figure so far, I'm about 155 stitches away from my goal. Which I can do it. I'm, I'm, I might, if I feel like it's night. I shouldn't be so body tired tonight. Um, but mentally it could be another story. So, depends on how I feel tonight when I get off work. I have an extra half an hour. Um, before I have to leave for work today, so, um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get any stitching in before I leave for work, but, uh, um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, um, that's Chester. So, um, and I also, I did work a good bit on Princess Mermaids. So, I'm going to show you guys the picture that you saw last week. Well, the progress that you saw last week. And I'm going to remind you what these ladies look like. This is Princess Mermaids. Yeah, you can see the... I've got my ring light on because it's kind of... It is daytime, as you can see from that window. But kind of overcast like it's not all the way overcast but it's not fully sunny either it's in that weird in between stage so it's a little dark outside um so yes I have my ring light um so hopefully by this point you will have saw <laughs> saw me insert a picture and this is where she's at now so um as you can see, uh, last time you saw her, I had, I had all this done, um, and I had some of that medium blue started on her tail here, 
and I had finished out that blue and then the lighter blue in her tail and then she's got some coral pieces in her hair that's those same two blue colors so I did those coral pieces and the ring light's kind of really showing off that sparkle a little bit better <laughs> so this is where she's at now getting closer getting closer there's a darker blue um a little bit of darker blue here I think her tail is like yellow her tail down here is yellow so there's a decent amount left to do in her but i'm going to finish her this year i'm going to finish her and i'm going to try to keep her out until i finish her so that's where she's at coming right along um and anybody that's new here Chester is stitched on uh, one over one on 22 count Ada and Princess Mermaids is 28 count Opal Caribbean Tides by Under the Sea Fabrics. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's all the stitching. <laughs> Not very much, I know. But when you... We don't get much stitching time the way I don't. And, um, you know, you're a slow stitcher like I am. You don't, you don't get very much progress done in a week. Um, but I did get a few things, happy mail wise. So the first thing I got was I got my fabric, my April fabric from Brandy at. Um, be stitch me. Sorry. Um, let me take it out. Sorry, you're gonna have to hear the crinkle. So, this month's fabric, I do get a 40 count linen, um, fat quarter from her. And this month's color is called Peanut. Really pretty, um, kind of yellowy tan color it's gonna, be hard. it's gonna be hard to effectively show it but that's this one's color pretty nice neutral so there's that and then I had also ordered a few hanks of black silk from Mo the Mo Sale Facebook page. She had made an announcement a while back, maybe a few weeks ago, that she was going to be dying some more hangs of black silk because it's really popular when she dyes it. Um, and I think at this, I think this time she had like a hundred hanks or something like that. So I had went ahead and claimed three hanks. So, I got my hanks in. It's just hanks of black silk. And I think each one of these is like 100 yards. So, really good for, so I have 300 yards of black silk. So, that'd be really good for a nice, like a long dog sampler or some other big, um, like Bear Landon or Quaker Sample or something, I think would really be really nice. So, got those in. And then I also just got in yesterday. Where's it at? I also got in just yesterday my next issue of World of Cross Stitch. This is issue 319. Sorry. Floss you bitchy nose. So, this is 319 of World of Cross Stitch. That's what's in here. And I will do a quick flip through as I like to do. This month's furry tail is really cute, y'all. This is really cute. This would be perfect for like a little girl's birthday card or something. It's a mermaid mouse. It's a mer mouse. Like really? That is super cute, y'all. That is super cute. Even I have to admit that's super cute. Um, there is a 
I'm going to show y'all what came with it because there are actually like multiple patterns involved. So we have a Friendship Blossom. It's actually called Cat and Mouse. This is from Margaret Cherry. Really cute. Clipping and then clipping. <laughs> then we have um, Floral Greetings. Some little floral card sized designs. And then we have I Am Me, and this is by Lisa Rakes. Reeks. Sometimes I really don't know how people pronounce their names. <laughs> Unless it's a name that I've seen before and I know how it's pronounced. This month's um, call in, write in, um, design wish, it's a baboon. But the reader, um, in their letter, um, describes the uh, Tutankhamun exhibition in London being canceled, and they wanted a design stitched up of a baboon that was on the um, tomb's walls. So um, Jenny designed a baboon, I guess similar to whatever is on the. Um, exhibition wall. Sorry. <laughs> so, I guess if you're if you live in London, um, maybe you know a little bit more about that. Um, there is a Egypt King Tut type exhibition at the museum in New York, the Met, <laughs> um, and I've been, and so I don't know if the exhibition is similar to that. So then we have Butterfly Sampler, and this is by Gail Busey. Sorry. I'm trying to avoid the glare that my ring light is causing. Um, this month's Pet of the Month by Doreen Jones. Right? <laughs> by Doreen Jones is of somebody's kitty cat. Really cute and sweet. Doreen Jones is just such a busy lady, y'all. She designs, she has her freebies, freebie Fridays in her Facebook group and she designs, you know, a design for a pet of the month every month and she's just a busy lady. Then we have our design library bright design library for the month is uh, some iconic landmarks done up in stitches. So I'm gonna kind of show y'all the bigger pictures here. This is only a few that's in there. These are the ones that they have stitched up. Um, Colosseum in Rome. This is the Great Wall of China. You have that Jesus statue that's in uh, Rio and the pyramids. I don't know what that is. And then there's some more. Obviously, the Eiffel Tower. So that's a few of them. Um, there's like a whole heap more. Um, Everything from the Eiffel Tower, Statue of Liberty, Big Ben, just a whole bunch of them. Taj Mahal. There's a lot of them. Uh, so, but that is the design library for this month. And then the next one I think is really pretty. I could actually see myself stitching this up one day in the future. Um, and it's by a designer called Megan Keynes. This is called Colorful Elephant. Like a mandala elephant. It's really pretty. And 
and then they they've got this on just a piece of white ada um probably one of those pre um pre-stretched canvas hanging things um but i think this would look beautiful on like a hand dyed like a lighter blue or even like a lavender kind of fabric i think that would look really pretty so, and she also has other designs too like it's showing some of her other designs zebra and a cat and a lion so um and then our next next thing we got here is vegetable abcs <laughs> They're not matching the vegetable to the letter it starts with. I'm sorry. It's just that that's a little confusing. That's that would be bothersome for me. And these are by Maria Diaz, by the way. It's just that's not your alphabet there. Some of them are not. Like some of them are, but some of them aren't. Like, why do you have S for corn? Like, I understand. Like, they have G for garlic, B for broccoli. There's an I for lettuce or cabbage, either one. Some of them are matching up to the, the start of the letter they start with. Like, P for pumpkin. They have carrots for C, G for garlic. Like, I just don't get it. T for tomatoes. But then... I don't know y'all. I really don't know. Anyway, <laughs> that's that's the alphabet for today. It's let it's it's vegetables. So what do we have next here? Next we have Stitcher's Clock. I'm gonna have to open this up here. And this is by Cheryl McKinnon. It's kind of across both pages. Stitcher's Clock. Try not to take too long at this because Annie will be home very shortly. I'm almost done though. Do 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 do. Looking for patterns. Um, and then we have retirement cards <laughs> by Jenny Barton. <laughs> Happy retirement. think this might be the last one and then our fab fabby riley master class for this month is on wired stump work might be a little bit beyond my reach but um let me try to show you so this is the design and this butterfly right here the outside of its wings is wired and then you stitch within that And then like stitch around it so that's that's the design um, there's a whole slew of <laughs> there's a whole slew of um, instructions it might be a little bit difficult to show and then this is what's coming next month that's what's coming next month so that is all of the patterns in world of cross stitch but they sent this little thing right here this is the little freebie that came with it and not only is it a little pattern book that has 12 different designs in it which i'm going to show you here in a second but then they also have included it's a little ass ah, it's a seashell and then a like starfish and those each go on one of the designs in here. I mean, each each one ha goes on a different design. Um, I'm gonna have to pick that up here in a minute. I'm not picking it up right now. But, cute little beach themed patterns. <coughs> so, 
So I'm going to go ahead and show you these. And they are just the patterns. But I'm hoping I can show you these far enough away so you can't see it. It's cute. These are so cute. These are actually, like, I could see myself stitching quite a few of these. This one. And this one. These two. I think that one's already in there. And then the whale and the anchor. I might have to start one of these next <laughs> next year. So there's boats. And there's a little beach scene. And then, yeah. These are so cute, y'all. I'm definitely going to have to stitch up a couple of these. They're so cute. But... That is going to do it. I'm going to put these, this one back in, at least. So, that's going to do it. Andy's going to be home any minute now. Um, just a quick little life update. Um, last Sunday, our AC was, wasn't working quite right. And, long story short, we finally, a technician finally came out Monday, um, Monday evening. <laughs> And Andy was like, was so, cause he had tried to call Sunday and it was like, we could send somebody out, but it's going to be an extra fee to come out, you know, emergency wise. And Andy was like, well, it's not really an emergency. So we can just wait till Monday tomorrow to come out. So he had, he was, they was like, well, okay, we'll send somebody out tomorrow. That's fine. You can send somebody out tomorrow. We'll call you when they get ready to come out. So, he stayed home for work, scared that he was going to miss the call from the, um, the AC company. And he also actually already had a, um, chiropractor appointment at 4.30. And, of course, um, they called about 3.30, um, while he was in the shower getting ready to go to his appointment. And so he left a little bit before four and they showed up maybe about 10 minutes later. And so I'm over here trying to get them, trying to explain to them what happened. And, um, I told the guy, it seems to be working fine because we had left it off because when he talked to the lady that morning, she said, turn it off. And if it's because if it's frozen over, um, the guy's going to have to wait until it, thaws out before he can work on it so he won't be able to work on it right then so he we had turned it off um even though it was basically primarily off all night anyway so we had made sure it was it was off but with the fan running which he had told us to do and I had turned it on maybe about one o'clock or so to see if it had helped any um if it was still acting up and it seemed to be blowing cool air but not very hard like there was cool air coming out of the vent as, as opposed to warm air, which was happening Sunday. Um, but I had let it run for a couple hours and I cut it back off um, by about 3.30 or so before the guy got there. Um, and you can, y'all, it was like in the mid to upper 80s that day. And you can imagine how hot it was getting in this house, even just being off for half an hour. Um, but the guy showed up and I was trying to explain to him what happened and he said he was asking if I wanted to go ahead and look at it I said yeah go ahead and look at it you know just to make sure everything else is fine and I also mentioned to him that we had kind of been wanting to get a new thermostat because Annie had tried to change it out about a month or two ago I don't know if y'all remember me talking about that and it failed miserably <laughs> um but uh Long story short, the AC unit is fine. Um, we just needed to clean the coils out with a hose. And uh, we got a new, got us a new fancy dancy all digital touch screen thermostat. So, and it's been working really well since then. Like you set it on a temperature and it basically primarily keeps it, keeps the house at that temperature. <laughs> so, um, got us a new thermostat and also I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video, but Abby is now officially a toddler. I keep meaning to to um, try to get a little video of it, but it's a little, it's kind of difficult because this house is a mess, and I'm kind of embarrassed 
if I'm being honest. So, but uh, we're officially into, into toddlerhood and she's teething at the same time. So she gets a little cranky. <laughs> um, but yeah, she had a doctor's appointment the other day and everything's going good. Um, they had to prick her finger to check her hemoglobin, which was good. And she only, she got one shot, luckily. <laughs> um, but yeah, she was, she was toddling all over that waiting room and in the, 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 the room when we got called back, she was, they'd pricked her finger and they had this huge band-aid on it and she was, she kept holding her finger up walking around. It was so funny, y'all. I, I will insert a video of that, but she's, she's, she's quite a character, so. But, that's all I got for y'all today. Um, I am going to get me something to eat because I am starving and obviously I need to eat before I go to work, so. But I will see y'all again next week. Bye, guys.